Hello guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hey guys, you know who I am, this is Titan, and as it seems, here we are in the ninth episode of Widerstein, after more than a month time, um, during which I had my exams in all the, all the subjects, actually I still have one more exam, um, but yeah, the most dense time, so to say, is over and boys girls guys <laughs> I'm so glad that I finally have time again to build assets as well as cities and I can't wait to yeah get really back in the whole city skylands stuff during the last week we had the um, um, park life DLC hitting us with all the mods had, um, that had to be updated. Really, really, really glad that the save game of Wederstein survived the, the whole updating process without any problems. It works as perfectly as I'm used to. And yeah, I'm really hyped now. <laughs> and I can't wait to, yeah, start building. Now I... Yes, yeah, started this 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 video with this part with this short um, live moment because yeah that's what I, I'd like to do um, for the next episodes I guess and so let me explain what I want to do in this episode for the last two episodes we worked on the village of Benishau and this these very yeah use surroundings here and of course the castle with the park around it now um, I'm not that satisfied when I look at it now so what I'd like to do is to um, yeah to remake the park a bit so with these um, few minutes um, starting time let's start with the time lapse and we'll see just in a few seconds in my commentary. So now we start into this ninth episode or in the time lapse of this ninth episode of Wederstein. And you just saw me um, drawing this new park um, district thingy um, that we have since the last update or no not since the last update since the new um, park left DLC and well, to be honest, of all the DLCs that have been released um, until that point, I think Park Life is the one I like the most. Um, because when I think of Snowfall or um, Mass Transit, there always were some minor things I liked about um, the DLC. For example, in, in, in Snowfall, it was the um, it were the trams. Actually, I bought the DLC only for the trams and mass transit. Um, to be honest, not really sure anymore. Ferries, I think, was the main reason. And with this DLC, um, it's basically all the functions um, that come with it that, that I like. So um, for me, it's until that point the best DLC. Now talking about what I'm doing here, as I said, I want to rework the um, yeah, park area a bit. Um, I still keep it as this um, English garden as it is now, but with a bit more functionalities um, with park life now, and also with an um, yeah, addition of a baroque garden. Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure how I can explain this with the lore of this castle and of this park because I said it um, was a renaissance castle and then it was kind of abandoned, abandoned, ban abandoned, whatever, and during the, um, yeah, during most of, of the classic history, so um, it was a renaissance castle and during baroque times it wasn't used, it was abandoned abandoned, and was um, yeah, rebuilt or a new castle was built in, in, in 
1850 or so. So I'm not really sure how much or actually a Baroque garden doesn't make sense at all. Um, but maybe um, yeah, maybe there is some good reason to have it there. Um, until that point here, I just read it the um, yeah the, the entryway for the castle for the park. A family could um, yeah replace these um, vanilla urns. I suppose they are called or they are um, pronounced, and could use the ones um, Mr. Mason did just a few weeks ago. Maybe one or two weeks. I'm not really sure now. Um, which I'm, um, yeah, glad about. And also, I really like the new um, paths with Park Life. They look pretty good, actually, for um, Colossal Orders. Um, yeah, level of detail. Or, yeah, level of, of, of realism. However, and yeah, here we're um, starting with a small Baroque garden. At first, I um, darkened the um, houses a bit using the painter mode by TPB. Um, yeah. The idea is that this is a small um, um, orangery. Or that's the German term, English pronoun. I'm sorry, but I I, I believe that's also the English word. Um, um, orangery basically is a kind of greenhouse that the rich people in Baroque times used to um, store exotic plants like um, lemon trees or orange trees, maybe even banana trees, just for example, um, where those exotic plants were stored during the um, cold winter times and in summer um, the plants were stored or were presented outside of this house in the garden. And that's what I'm also um, doing here. Um, the yeah, the area turned turned out to be uh, um, as it turned out, and the area looked a bit like um, the, the the yeah front part of Sanssouci Castle or Palace. I think I don't have to explain what Sanssouci is. At least I. Don't know. I think everybody knows it um, because of the terraces here in uh, the building. But the yeah castle or garden are really used as um, I don't know inspiration pattern source of idea. I, I guess inspiration is the right word. Um, are really used as inspiration is the one in near Dresden where I live. Um, it's basically a standalone Baroque garden, and not a very big one, not a very fancy one, just a small Baroque garden in the countryside. And yeah, that's um, what I also did here. And I also got some inspiration from the um, castle Wackerbart. It's not really a castle. Um, also near Dresden, which is um, a wine winery, winery, so a place where wine is made, um, in a borough castle, and they have these terraces, terraces, oh, damn it, and they have those terraces that I also did here. Um, so I kind of combined a few um, places um, around my yeah, hometown. Um, I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, yeah, pretty much satisfied with the look of it.
you see that it takes me quite a lot of time to um, yeah, get the I don't know the right layout for the um, terraces and in fact the baroque garden or well, building the baroque garden actually um, makes the we yeah, have the bigger part of this episode I mean I did three major things in this episode that was building this garden this baroque garden um, it, that was yeah basically finishing the village with a few more village houses and um, building a small farm with fields around it and I would say that only this baroque garden here the small one takes up um, about two-thirds of the whole episode because on the one side it's something new that we didn't do until now um, at least in the series and it is something that yeah actually really took the time so of course I also have to give it more time um, and uh, um, building the, the normal village houses um, actually didn't even include it in this episode. Um, the reason is, on the one hand, that it would be it would would have been too long. I mean, this episode already is um, yeah longer than the average episode of mine. But also, we already did that quite quite a lot within the um, last two episodes, and it's still the same. So placing houses and afterwards a few props in the garden and all that, so I figured it's not that important. Now here back in the um, yeah, in the garden, I placed a few trees and fountains. I kind of just experimented a bit with how, um, what might look good and what um, yeah, doesn't really look well. For now, um, yeah, I really liked the I would, uh, yeah, I, I, might, I might say pattern I did here for future Baroque Gardens because that I can say um, on this map we will have quite a lot of castles, be it um, medieval ones, be it Renaissance ones, or be it Baroque ones. And so here I kind of did the pattern for at least terraces. Now here I'm continuing with the um, with the um, lawn in front of the terraces, in front of the um, in front of the building. The, uh, the, 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 the. How is that word called again? The term, the, the, well, the real term, the um, professional term, um, the technical term. That's what I was looking for. Sorry. The technical term is called um, a parterre. A parterre is just um, yeah, beard with um, only a lawn or with a lot of flowers is the um, most yeah cared of um, portion of a baroque garden directly in front of the um, castle itself. And following the um, yeah, the Baroque garden um, near my hometown, I did um, a well or a big fountain on the other end of the yeah, parterre. And I had to experiment a lot with that one because there was nothing on the workshop I could have used. And at some point I, e I even thought I have to do my own Baroque um, fountain. I didn't do any, or I didn't do one, um, even though I still think I will have to make one, because, yeah, I need one in the future, but for now it's enough, like that. And yeah, we basically have, well, let's say, it's a fountain with a few statues in and water jets. Um, yeah. I did it quite um, yeah, overgrown, at least on the walls. Um, again, I just experimented with the look, uh, with the look of it, what might look good, what um, doesn't. And 
once more, I'm pretty satisfied with it. When it's about the um, water, I tried a bit um, what I could use as water in this fountain, and when I eventually found um, the um, stream decals, the water stream decals by Ronix, um, I was actually surprised how good they look, not as a stream, but actually as a, yeah, just a water surface. And I'm definitely gonna use them a bit more for such purposes. Now, as this is only a small um, part of a rope garden, maybe it has been bigger, maybe not. I'm still um, yeah, thinking about the lore behind it, because, you know, I always need lore and when I build stuff. Um, be because it is a small garden, it has a hedge around it to um, get separated from the park and from the village next to it. Here, of course, the um, well-kept, um, clean yeah, lawn. I, I just saw it, I'm a bit annoyed by this. Constant notifications of Steam because eh, someone played a game. Eh. After recording all that, I finally disabled it because it was so annoying, and it, uh, it still is annoying to have it in a video constantly. But whatever. So here we are continuing the hedge, and I really have to say a big thank you. Even though I'm not sure if he looks my um, serious. To P. Delmo or Delmo or however um, one might call him and um, for all his trees and here I'm using his flowers and the hedge is also made by him it just looks gorgeous now as we are of course in the Baroque garden I figured a bit of flowers yeah I need a bit of, of, of flowers and so I'm using his 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 flower bushes here to um, yeah, simulate that and again I'm, I'm yeah pretty satisfied with it. more than with the rest of the English garden of this castle um, the one thing I noticed because I um, recorded this um, I recorded this when prop line tool wasn't updated and yeah a big Thing I noticed is that um, you are getting used to PLT so fast that you kind of forget how it was before and that um, I remembered that when I did the uh, flower circles here without PLT that was no fun trust me what I did here is um, something I really like it's a kind of covered um, yeah path um, an overgrown path but not um, not overgrown because nobody cared about it but actually planned overgrown and I really like that and when I just talked about park life and PLT being updated um, my whole save game survived um, without any problems and when I think of, of Poor, poor skip. Um, where his un undo um, save game completely broke, which is really a pity because I would have loved to see more of that. But well, I'm really glad that um, my save game, yeah, survived the patch. Yeah, the man, you'll see. Sorry. And now that I, um, yeah, just place the final touches of the um, garden with this gate here. I'm continuing with the farm outside of the village. Um, as there are until now no um, yeah, farmhouses on a workshop I could have used. And also I didn't I couldn't have done some I could I I didn't do any however um, I tried it with my renaissance houses um, and again I'm surprised how well they look as, as farmhouses. Still I'm gonna do some um, good farmhouses 
um, but for now that's actually pretty good um, yeah, result. So here we have a typical um, German farm with um, three um, yeah, houses or actually a farm that's it's, I mean it's only one house but that's closed on three sides sometimes they are, they are also called uh, bah. sometimes they are also they are also closed on four sides English is a difficult language <laughs> and yeah and besides the house just um, farming plops crops all over the place now um, with the the end result of result result the end result of the um, farmhouse of the near yeah, whole farm area it at least in my opinion doesn't look like a real one but more like a model railway one so a bit cheesy um, I'd like to know your opinion on that you have a better view over the area and in the end cinematic and I'd like to know your um, view on that better. Does it look real or a bit yeah, cheesy and model railway fish? What I did here is yeah, basically closing a few win windows and doors and that has two reasons. Um, one reason is it's one building, but um, not the whole building is made for living. Some parts of the buildings are where um, hay is stored, for example. And maybe, and, and those areas of the building are usually not very well um, yeah, kept. Um, so maybe the glass of the windows um, broke some years ago and they just put um, um, wood there to cover the, um, yeah gaps in the wall where the windows should have been and on the other side it doesn't make that much sense to have gigantic glass doors on the ground floor because um, they are basically shop houses and so I put wood in the yeah, places where the big glass door is to have this um, barn door feeling or to have the idea to have the idea that there is a barn door. And I think to turn it pretty quickly. Now this um, farm is a big milk farm. So um, the farmer here lives um, by taking milk out of his cows and selling it. Um, it's I'm just talking about the ideas I have now. Because of the um, big area the cows have, I would suppose it's kind of an organic farm. So um, yeah, it, um, the the cows are not kept in um, inside for their whole life, but actually have place and and can go outside and all that. So I suppose it's an organic farm, and also some fields around. Here I'm just randomly placing some hay and, and, and whatever the rest was, props um, to have just some stuff standing around because um, it's a farm and there is nothing that well organized, it just lays and stands where it is. And if you don't mind, I'd like to say goodbye for today. Um, my mouth is a bit dry now, I need something to drink and besides that there is not much more I could say, I'm just placing a few, um, a few, yeah, props and plants and, yeah, make the fields ready. Um, thank you for watching, really thank you for watching, um, thank you that you still are with me on my channel and didn't left me, didn't leave me. Actually, I, uh, my channel still grew over the time um, I had my exams, which is really nice. Thank you so much for that. Um, I hope you liked this episode and uh, um, yeah, the, the, the 
restart of the series or I don't know. Um, I hope I'll see you in the next episode again. Um, there are just four minutes um, left of time lapse and after that only one cinematic that is a long one because I wanted to try a different method and bye guys until next time have a nice time until then and well goodbye